Question 1. A company is marketing its bottled water as pure water. What is meant by a pure substance? Well, a pure substance is a substance made from a single element or single compound. So in the case of water, it would just be H2O and nothing else. How could it be tested to prove if it is pure or a mixture? Describe both the test and the result you would expect. Well, the test would be to test the boiling point of the water. And if it is pure, it will boil at a specific temperature, for example, 100 degrees C for pure water. If it's a mixture or if it's got any impurities in it, it will boil over a range of temperatures. The company also claims the water is neutral pH. What would be the pH number if this is true? It would be pH 7 if it's neutral. Remember, less than 7 is an acid and more than 7 is an alkali. Question D. What chemical test could you carry out to prove the water is neutral in terms of the pH? Describe both the test and the result you would expect. Well, the test would be to add a few drops of universal indicator and the result would be the indicator would be green. Question 2. Painkillers are an example of a mixture that is designed for a specific function. They contain different substances in a fixed ratio. What do we call this type of mixture? Well, it's a formulation. Question 2b. A 450 milligram tablet contains 200 milligrams of ibuprofen. Calculate the percentage of ibuprofen in one tablet. So we need to do 200 divided by 450, multiply it by 100 to get it as a percentage, and that works out at 44.4%. In winter, the school caretaker throws salt on the drive to melt the ice. Use your knowledge of mixtures to explain how this works. By adding an impurity, the salt, it lowers the melting point of the ice so it will melt even if the temperature is still below 0 degrees C. In the school kitchen, the chef adds salt to a pan when boiling potatoes. Will this make the potatoes cook slightly quicker or slightly slower? And explain why. Adding an impurity such as the salt will increase the boiling point so the water will get hotter and the potatoes will cook slightly quicker. Question 3. Look at the following equation and describe a test you could carry out to confirm the identity of the gas that is made. Describe both the test and the result you would expect. So in this question we need to look at the state symbols of the products. The products are on the right hand side of the arrow and we notice one of them has got a G next to it meaning that's the gas and it's CO2 so it's carbon dioxide. So the test would be to bubble the gas through lime water and the result we'd expect is the lime water would turn milky or cloudy. Question 4. Some pondweed is grown in a beaker of water and the gas it produces is collected in a test tube. Describe a test you could carry out to confirm the identity of the gas that is made. Describe both the test and the result you would expect. So first of all you need to remember that any plant that is photosynthesizing is going to producing oxygen. So that's the gas we're going to be testing. So the test would be to use a glowing splint and the result is it relights a glowing splint. If you found the video useful please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching.